I thought uh, um, defensively, it wasn't a pretty game, um, but I thought defensively we, um, we, we, we were pretty good. I, I think we forced them into 26 turnovers. Um, you know, Way too many offensive rebounds, but I thought defensively we were, you know, we were kind of like what we've been all year. Um, again, you know, we, um, what did they take? They take, you know, 22 threes. You know, we we're hoping to give them between 25 and 30. Um, and, uh, you know, they were able to make, you know, 31, 32% out of them. But I thought we did a nice job defensively, especially in our rotations. Um, but it seemed like we, you know, we we're a little, about a half step off of everything. But, you know, again, you're not going to be too upset when you get a 21 point win. So um, made free throws when we needed to. Um, again, you know, not, not great, but uh, um, we did what we were supposed to do win a game at home, and that's what we were supposed to do. I thought Ryan was really good tonight. And um, I'm really, really happy right now with our bench. You know, and I've been happy, you know, one of the strengths of our team has been what we did defensively. But our bench has really stepped up when guys needed to. You know, now today was Jordan Sessions' turn. And so it's been a different guy each time. So I really liked what our bench is doing right now. Questions for Coach? Are, are you surprised um, that they were a half a step slow in the rotation concerning you were able to get some practices this week and get a little bit of rest? Well, we were playing probably the quickest, most athletic team we've played all year. I mean, one. I mean, they're almost so quick that they, you know, they get a tad out of control. I mean, they are unbelievably fast. Their guards are, are are really quick. We talked about that, and we knew that how quick they were in that regards. But uh, what we wanted to do is we kind of wanted to slow them down a little bit. But what that did is slowed us down, and so we didn't come up with some of the fifty-fifty balls uh, uh, early. Now, what's, what opened the game up is all of a sudden we got the steals and we picked up the 50-50 balls. I think we got all of them but one in the second half. Uh, early, we just couldn't do that. But uh, um, but a lot of that goes to the credit for them because they are extremely – one through four, I think they're quicker than every position, one through – and maybe one through five with us. Coach, the, uh, about four minutes in the second half, we're still real close to them. Talked already about the bench. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, because our bench is doing a great job defensively, and, and again, the energy. You know, I think the freshman, you know, really came in and, and really did a nice job. One of Jordan Sessions' better games. I thought he was terrific tonight, and uh, you know, then Isaiah came in and did a, did some nice things. I thought Kurt was was big for us a little bit off the bench, and and uh, you know, again, we were we were able to extend the lead, something we have we've had a little trouble with this year. We get we get six seven point leads and we don't extend them, and I thought we did a nice job with that today. What was uh, where a cramp? What was that on the plate of the basket? He was pushing. He just fell down. So it was, it was his. It was his knee. And so uh, um, I think it scared him. To be honest with you, more than anything. Um, and I don't think anybody would would, 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 would probably mind that. I mean, it's uh, you know him going. And I think it was more of a scare thing than anything else. And so, but it was his knee. It wasn't a cramp. It was it was his knee. And and uh, so uh, he should be fine. Where are you at home run since he's? He's aggressive to, to the basket at times. Yeah. You know, when he comes down, maybe he might come down. Does that? Does that no, worry not at all. Are... It doesn't worry me any more than Ryan or RJ or anybody else. I mean, you know, the the one thing that that I was going to make sure before he played, he played one minute for me is that he was 100 percent healthy, and I got that from our doctors, and he's 100 percent healthy. And so I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I think falls like that are good for him. One of the things I wanted to do is put him right back in the game. You know, and so, uh, um, you know, just kind of getting right back on the horse again. You know, he needs to have those because it scares him sometimes. But then you get back and, you know, he's ready to play again. Coach, I remember um, last time we were in here, you were saying that you guys' defense were sli was slipping a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, today you guys won the turnover ratio 26 to 8. Um, was there anything different you guys did in practice or practice time? I yeah. mean, we we made some adjustments a little bit defensively. And so, um, we you know, we got two days of practice. And so that that's, you know. You know, you need to do that. You know, and this time of year it's kind of hard for us to do that. And, you know, now we're back on this trip where we got you know three games in five days, so there won't be much practice again for us until probably Wednesday again. So, um, so we needed those couple of days to kind of you know just you know just shore up some things because you get game slippage, and so when you don't practice, that's what happens. And especially the defense that we play. And so um, I thought that we were able to pick it up again today, again holding another team to forty percent shooting, something we've really done all year. And if you do that, you're always going to give yourself a chance to win. I hate to bring this up because he did score twenty sets of points, but. Another technical for Ryan. Yeah, tonight a different kind of technical this time. Yeah, I mean, are there any concerns about about that? Well, I, I you know, I, I think what happens is that you know, you you know, fairly or unfairly, sometimes you you get a reputation with it, and so, and I think that's what it is now. I think some some technical fouls are becoming just reputation type of technical fouls, and so, um, you know, I know the league has you know has, has said it to the officials, and Ryan understands that. But again, you know, he plays with a certain edge to his game, and so if you take that edge away, then he's not the same player. Um, we've talked about it. He knows and. He, you know, I think that you even seen today. He's he's aware of that. Uh, but again, if you take the you know you take the edge away from a guy, then he's not that same type of player. So he's not uh, you know disrespecting officials or trying to disrespect players. And um, so sometimes it just becomes uh, you know it becomes more of uh, more of a reputation thing than anything else. But he knows he has to stop that. I mean, we've talked about that, and he knows that. He knows that. Coach, um, I think you 
guys may have been out re rebounding a little bit. Um, What's your take on that? Again, a lot of same as the fifty fifty ball. They're just so quick that they, they, you know, you know, even on the free throw line, you know, you think you're blocking them out, and they're just they're, they're really fast. One of the strengths of their team is just those guys are they're, un they're unbelievably quick athletes, and so sometimes you can you could talk about it in practice, but until you see it, you know, that, that their speed's a whole nother. We, we haven't seen anything like that all year with that type of speed. Coach, I'm not gonna let you get out of here. You fell there at the end, and right yeah. In the beginning, RJ was laughing a little bit. Yeah. Everything all right? Uh, we'll see. My knee is a little swollen, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Your hip's okay? Uh, it better be. I paid a lot of money for this hip. <laughs> this is an expensive hip I got. Oh, it better be okay. <laughs> After missing the last game with the, uh, the toes, number one, how do they feel today? And, and did you have any sense in the pregame shoot around that you had it going on shooting wise today? Um, I mean, my toe is still hurting, but I didn't want to miss any more games. Uh, I have, I have something in my shoe to help me with that. Um, I definitely thought uh, I would do do well today. I, I stayed after practice to get some extra shots in, and I saw um, today in warm-ups that I was hitting my shot. So uh, after I missed the first two, I, I just told myself, you know, keep shooting. It's what you've been working on. So uh, they started to fall for me, and I just got going. What was the tackle for? We uh, couldn't tell. I'm, I'm not even sure. I just know I dunked it and I screamed. It might have been looked like I uh, screamed in the man's face or whatever. But I, I, I was just showing the motion. I was just happy that I could dunk again. And hey, I'm, I know the text. Uh, they have to stop. No excuse for it. But I'm just the type of player that shows emotion on the floor, and I just have to learn how to, you know, hold it in sometimes. Um, Ryan, there was something that was going on at the free throw line with you and another player. Um, you talk about maybe what that was when you had to come out there. Um, I you know just having a friendly conversation. I'm I'm friends with everybody on the court. Uh, that was about it. Yeah. Ryan, how uh, you with Kevin and uh, you know I've watched you guys now a bunch of times in Kevin's first year. You guys really seem to, mm -hmm. to have a nice uh, cohesion together on the court. And RJ included now mm -hmm. Ryan as well. Just talk about the backcourt in general. And um, you guys are getting along. Well, I, I've played with Kevin since I was in high school. Uh, we played on the same AAU team. We've known each other since we were young. Um, and, you know, I played with RJ and Rhino last year, so I got a feel for what their game was and what they do best. And, you know, I, I just try to let everybody do what they do best and make sure that they know that they're really good and they could they could play with anybody. So um, uh, I just think that we have a really good mesh right now. Was that the Celtics? Yes. Is it orthotic in your shoe? Is that um, what it is? It's like a steel plate in the bottom of my right shoe. And you said the extra shooting was after the shoot around this morning? Is that uh, right? No, uh, I did extra shooting after practice last night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and can you just talk about the, um, <clears throat> the freshman session and, and Dennis and, and their contributions uh, today? I'm I'm excited for them. Uh, you know, they're starting to get a feel for college basketball. You know, everybody has to learn when they first get here. I had to learn, uh, and it just starts rolling for you, and you start getting more confident after you do one thing, and then another thing happens for you. And I think that's what's happening for Jordan and Isaiah. They both are starting to get a little bit more comfortable out there and just playing their game. How, how long am I going to? I'm going to keep it because it makes me look a little bit older. <laughs> you hear my voice, and if I was to cut this off, I'd look real young and sound young, so I'm going to keep this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>